Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up and install Lutris on Ubuntu 22.04 long term support. But first, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any future videos. Now, I've done some research into this topic and a fair amount of Linux themed websites have their own ways of recommending you install Lutris, as well as Lutris recommending their own way of how to install Lutris. So we're going to look at a way of installing Lutris that will work and will get running for Lutris. So first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have 32-bit architecture support. So to do that, we do sudo dp kg hyphen hyphen add hyphen arc i tech chore i 386 hit enter now output here is good output we shall clear our screen we shall just do an update make sure that we're all up to date as we can see here everything is up to date and we need to install Wine. So to do that, we will install Wine using my install scripts. Now I've already downloaded my install scripts. So what we want to do is we want to do chmod plus x dots dot slash w7u22 hyphen stable dot sh. And now we want to run that. So to do that, we do uh, sudo dot slash w7u22-stable.sh You can find the link to my GitHub repository with all of my Wine install scripts at the link in the description below. Now, once Wine has installed, we'll be moving on and I will go over a few of the methods that were recommended by various other outlets on installing Lutris including the Lutris way itself. Once you just CD back down, you want to clear. Now there were a few outlets that recommended installing from the PPA itself, but that does not work. So what we want to do is go through the process. Uh, Linuxconfig.org recommends installing Lutris using the Lutris PPA, but if we try to, we try to do that with sudo, we'll just copy the script, copy the command I put just to prove, do paste. As we can see here, error PPA Lutris hyphen team slash Lutris not found, use login if private. So this is no longer valid. The Linux config dot org one is no longer valid. So we, so if you do come across that and it doesn't work, that's because uh, it's no longer available. Uh, Linux Nightly recommends installing it or searching for it on the Ubuntu store. We could do that, but also we could also we could also have a look at Linux Hint and have a look at the way they recommend doing it. But let's look at how to install Lutris using the Lutra's recommended method, which is via their deb packages. So, as we can see here, we have a Lutra's deb package. If we try and launch it, it's going to say loading application details. And that's all it's going to say. So what we want to do is look at uh, installing it. As we can see here, still, still nothing. So what we want to do is install the package. So the first thing we want to do is want to do sudo dp kg hyphen i lutris dot deb. Say yes, and what it's going to go through and say uh, not installed, however extracted, but not installed, however extracted, but not installed. So if we do try and launch lutris. We get an issue that pops up saying, hey, look, I couldn't be ran. Which is expected because of the uh, errors that popped up here. 
which is why the dev package was not able to be installed. Now, Lutris hasn't even opened, so we're just going to remove it. So we want to do sudo uh, apt get remove Lutris. Say yes. sudo apt get purge Lutris. Just do a clear. So using the dev package does not work, and that's from the Lutris uh, GitHub. Now, the next way we can do it is attempt to install it using apt get install. So we will attempt that. Let's just do a apt update and then upgrade. As we can see here, everything's, everything's working fine. This is a new thing that appears to be popping up in the Ubuntu systems. It is what it is canonical at the current moment in time is trying to shove Ubuntu Pro down your throat whenever you do like some updating. So it's just worth to keep an eye on that. Anyway, the first thing we want to do, we've, we've installed uh, Wine, we've enabled the 32-bit ar 32 architecture and we've updated. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do sudo apt get install hyphen y lutris and wouldn't you know it's going through and installing perfectly first time round. so it appears at the current moment in time the only way to get lutris installed on any debian system because bearing in mind ubuntu is a debian system is through the uh, through the app store through the app manager so now that we've done that, if we do Lutris, we now have a check in for runtime updates. And it is should not be working. Just grab this again. It's gonna go through this. And wouldn't you know it? We now have Lutris. So I'm going to log in. And have a look. At what I have about what I have on my library, we have an 1800. I do very much enjoy that. 5M does not work. Origin, some of the time. Tarkov, it's been a while since I tried to run it, but it does work. Epic Games also works. Logitech G Hub, the Magic Ape says ask again later about that one. But what we will attempt to do is install the Epic Game Store. I'm going to come up with the standard installation. We're just going to click install, click install. It's going to get the necessary items down. So what this is doing, this is using Wine version 7.2-2, which will be on the developmental version. So we're just going to wait, wait for this to finish off. And Luke just crashed. I have noticed a lot recently that... Uh, Ubuntu has been causing a lot of things to just say no and crash for no apparent reason. So what we can see here is we're progressing forward. We will do download, download for both the Ubisoft Connect installer and the Epic Games Launcher.msi, so Microsoft installer. Click yes. The MSI is more aimed at server users. But the fact of it is set, it's aimed for a automatic installation, automatic headless installation. So at the first one, it's going to say, I don't know where the mono package is. Can you please download and install me? To which we can say, of course we can download and install you mono. Because it's needed. So this is now going to go through the process of getting everything downloaded and sorted out. Which is expected. So in the meantime... Why don't I go pull some off of Lutris that's not currently already in the library? If I start by recently updated, hit search. Recently updated. And we have a look at 
something that we might want. So for example, syncing simulator. We will add that to the library. Come here, give it a quick refresh. Syncing simulator. So none of the icons are actually loaded yet, which is, it is most likely a, it needs to talk back to the server and it's not had a chance to talk back to the server yet, so it's okay. This just, we're just going through the settings. The services are what's um, enabled for integration. So Steam, Epic Game Store, we can actually add Epic Game Store so we can log in directly to the Epic Game Store inside the Lutris browser and then launch our Epic Games through there. Games that are installed locally, for example, but I'm not going to be using that. And then just, of course, there's the Lutris stuff. What we can see here is the Epic Games Store was installed. So what we're going to do, application, desktop shortcut, click close, come to Epic close this and Epic Game Store, click launch. Give it a second to catch up. And we can check to see if it's working. If we get our system monitor, drag this to over here, shrink it down. And Evolution, Firefox, isolated. We can see we have Lutris currently running. An Epic Game Store is going through the process of going, I'm alive, just give me a minute. And hopefully, this side of the next century, things launch. We did just have a lot of things pop up. So, anytime this side of the next century, we'll just close this and Watch this again, as we can see, it is still launching. So just tell it to stop. So as we can see here, it did just take a moment for the uh, image to appear. And now this does not want to stop. So we just give it a minute. Hopefully it'll catch up. These are just the options for launching and getting it running. Here's the runner option. So actually running it, we can set it to use the system version. So uh, seven, the version I have already installed. It's just the setting everything up, the overrides, the just options in general, all, all that jazz. So we're just gonna leave that being and hopefully I'll wake up and realize that I've asked it to do something very simple. But here we are, we currently have a Lutris installed and should be working. Just give this a refresh. As we can see here, Lutris did just crash. It appears to be an Ubuntu 22 issue. For some reason, a lot, a lot of the software that I've been using just will suffer from random crashes. OBS has done it more than a few times now for no apparent reason. So I, I can't really say one way or the other as to what is causing these issues. Uh, I think it might just be uh, Ubuntu not liking me. Frankly, I'm not the biggest fan of Ubuntu, so I might hop to another destroy at some point in the future, but not too sure as of yet. Anyway, Lutris is installed, it is running, it does work. So I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell and that like button. Uh, and if you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button. YouTube may only show 50% of the buttons, but I know I could see 100% of them. And I know if you liked it or didn't like it, and that's perfectly fine. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing, and I hope you have a good rest of your day, and goodbye.